Hey everybody, it's Stephanie with Ellis and Trigo County Farm Bureau. Guess what? We're going to the pumpkin patch. Guess what? We're heading out there. We're gonna learn how pumpkins are grown and we'll be back here in the office in a little bit to do our activities. Steph, let's go to the pumpkin patch. I gotta go. Let's See go. you soon, guys. Hi everybody. Welcome to Ag in the Classroom and it's Stephanie here today and we are at the pumpkin patch. I'm so excited. We're here with Maggie Mater. And she's a pumpkin expert, or a pumpkin queen, or something like that. She grows a lot of pumpkins, so I thought it might be fun to come and learn about pumpkins from Maggie today. Maggie, how many pumpkin plants do you guys plant every year? Well, I have to give my dad some credit, because he helps a lot, too. But we plant probably a little over 2,000 plants per year. And remember that not just one pumpkin grows on a plant. Wow. So a that's lot. just plants yes wow so you could have four or five pumpkins on every plant oh yeah or more maybe yes wow that's a lot of pumpkins that's a lot of pumpkins yes so i'm looking around and i'm seeing all different kinds of pumpkins so when you get ready to plant a pumpkin what are you what are you thinking about when you're picking out your seeds um just kind of what we like and what other people would like i prefer the funky ones like this or the white um, my dad likes the good old plain orange ones. Plain orange so we just pick what we like and what we think you guys will like. But there's a lot of different varieties, right? Yes. A lot. And so, what will grow well here. Okay. Yeah, you have to think about that as yep. well, too, because it is Kansas, guys, and it's hot and windy. And sometimes, and we sometimes dry and yeah. sometimes wet. Right, right. So we have to be careful there. So I, this is the question I've been dying to ask. Are, is a pumpkin a fruit or a vegetable? Technically, it's a fruit. It's a fruit. But most people think they're vegetables. Really? Okay. Do you so know why it's a fruit? No. Why is it a fruit? Because it comes from a flower and we can get its seeds from it. Really? Mm -hmm. So how does this come from the flower? Okay. So the flower sits on. Okay. And then you'll see the flower and then a little ball, okay. which looks like a tiny little pumpkin, but green. Okay. And as that grows, the flower falls off and so then you get this spot on the bottom that's where your flower was really mm -hmm. well that's interesting i heard something too that was a little crazy can you eat pumpkin flowers you can when they're nice and big really yeah you can put them in a batter like you would other things you're gonna fry and you can fry them really mm -hmm. are they are they yummy i've never tried it but oh, i want wow. to maybe we should do that for a video <laughs> maybe we should fry some fry some pumpkin flowers so you start out with seeds right and mm -hmm. when do you begin your pumpkin growing season well, we start thinking about it in March, ordering our seeds, and then in late May to the beginning of July, we're planting. Okay, okay. And so you plant them directly in the ground, or how do you how do you do that? A lot of people do, but we plant ours in little cups with soil okay. so that we make sure they sprout and come up. Okay, so they go from a seed to a sprout, mm -hmm. right? And then after that, they start vining. Isn't that what they call it? Yep. Okay. They get their mature leaves. They start with their sprout leaves, and then they'll get mature leaves, which okay. look different. Okay. Then we put them in the ground. Okay, great. That is awesome. And then how long? So you plant them, you said, all, End of all May. the way through July. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, not through July, till the beginning. The beginning of but July. that's the little guys that okay. are planted that late. Okay. And, and so it takes several months then to grow a pumpkin like this. Yes. Right, wow. So what can you do with a pumpkin? I know a lot of people out there are like, I want to make a jack-o'-lantern, because that's always a really cool thing to do with pumpkins, you know, and surely everybody knows what a jack-o'-lantern is, but that's where you cut the holes in them. Well, what are some other things that people can do with pumpkins? Well, have you ever seen a pumpkin catapult? I have not. Okay, well, you can launch pumpkins just for fun, oh, but we should be, not try that. That would be so up my son's alley. Yeah, but we shouldn't try we that shouldn't here. That. Okay. 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 But what you should be doing with pumpkins is eating them. Really? Well, because you don't want to waste them. Okay, yeah. And they're really good for you. Well, I've had pumpkin pie, but is there other things to make with pumpkin? Yeah, have you had pumpkin bread? Oh, now that you say that, I have, and that's very delicious. Yes, and there's a ton of bakery-type stuff you can make, but you can eat it just like that. You can eat it raw? Yep. You don't just, even have to cook it? Nope. You just wow. peel the skin off. Uh -huh. You can take like a like what you would peel cucumbers with. Just do that on the outside. Slice it up after you get the seeds out. Right, right. And I like to put a little cinnamon sugar on mine, mm. but that makes it not as healthy. But it's still yummy. Yeah. And, and you said, and what kind of, like, so what makes it healthy then? Um, well, it just has a lot of vitamins, like vitamin A, vitamin C, and 
Just, just overall good health good. So food. Probably high like in antioxidants and things for, yes. for your body. Yes. So. Well, that is fantastic. I also, there is another part of the pumpkin that I do like to eat is the seeds. And those yep. are so yummy because uh, we cut them out of our pumpkins, we soak them in a little salt, and then roast them in the oven, and they are absolutely delicious. And the nice thing is there's so many seeds in a pumpkin usually <laughs> that you get a lot of them when you a, do that. There's a lot. There's a lot of seeds in a pumpkin. So, um, so that's awesome, all the cool things that you can do with the pumpkin. And I can see you've got lots of different varieties yes. down here. And I also see these little guys. These are kind of interesting little things. So are they in the same kind of family that a pumpkin is in? Same family. And, and these are called what? These are gourds, though. Gourds. And these you cannot eat. Okay, so they they're have, more decorative. Yes. Right? So we've got lots of different ones here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just, it just they're so look, fun. Look how bumpy and crazy looking they are. So. And these are fun because we can put them along the alpaca fence, and they grow up the fence, and the alpacas don't eat them. So oh, well, that's cool. They just so dangle off. I did hear um, your son was telling me that the horses like to eat these. Yes. We really? give the horses a lot of pumpkins for the season. That's really cool. That is a really good use for them because you definitely don't want them to go to waste. And they are delicious and good for us, mm -hmm. so it's pretty cool. Um, so just... To finish off, what are some of the cool things you have out here at the pumpkin patch in October? Okay, so we have a hay rack ride, a corn maze, and we have some games out front mm -hmm. to play. Of course, you need to feed the alpacas while you're here because they're always hungry. But the best part for most people is the jumping pillow, the which jumping pillow? you should try. I think I'm going to have to try the jumping pillow, so that sounds like a lot of fun. Yep. How about we head out there now? Let's do it. the jumping pillow. Okay. And uh, we'll be back. Hi, everybody. We're out here on the jumping pad, having a good old time at the pumpkin patch. Make sure if you want to have some fun in October, you head down here to Paul's Pumpkin Patch and see Maggie and the kids and get yourself a pumpkin. And if you ate today, maybe you ate a pumpkin or some pumpkin or pumpkin pie. Make sure you think of farmer. And God bless America. Hi students and welcome to Ag in the Classroom. My name is Stephanie and I'm with Ellis and Trigo County Farm Bureau Associations. And this is my helper, Satina. She's my intern here at the office. And we've been working hard uh, to come up with some programming for you guys through YouTube. So you can uh, enjoy Ag in the Classroom right there uh, on video. So we're gonna go ahead and get started today. Um, we just took a tour of Paul's Pumpkin Patch, so we're gonna go through and talk about what we saw, and uh, so Tina's gonna talk about the activity she's gonna go over with you guys today. So Tina, tell us what we're gonna be doing today. So there'll be two sheets in your guys' activity packet that you guys are gonna get in your classroom. So you're gonna get a life cycle of a pumpkin. There's gonna be different ones depending on what age group you're in. So this one's a little bit easier, and it only has four steps, and then this one's a little bit harder, and it has five steps. So you guys are gonna color, you guys can color the different steps before you cut them out, and then you're gonna glue them down in order of the steps that they're in. So the older kids get a little bit harder one, and then the younger kids get a little bit easier one. And then you're also gonna get another sheet of paper with a pumpkin on it, and you guys are gonna cut out the pumpkin, make sure to color it first though, and cut out all the parts of the pumpkin, and then glue them down on a piece of construction paper that you guys also get in your packet. For this activity, you're going to need a glue stick, some scissors, and either crayons or some colored pencils. All right, and Satina's going to do the activity while I'm doing some uh, talking about the actual pumpkins. So we're just going to kind of recap some of the things that Maggie told us out of the pumpkin patch. And if you'll step back here with me, we're going to check out my great big pumpkin here at the back of the room. And we're going to go through the stages of how to plant your pumpkin and the results we're going to see. So first off, as you can see, number one, you have to start out with seeds. You can't plant a pumpkin without pumpkin seeds. And the seeds are small and flat, and they're kind of a beigey or light tan color. From there, you're going to plant your pumpkin either in a cup with some dirt and some soil, or you're going to plant it directly into the ground. Now at Maggie's uh, farm, she said they plant theirs in a cup, and then they transplant them into the ground. So um, not only you're going to need soil to plant your seed, but you're also going to need water and light and warmth and air. So those are the important things you need to get any seeds planted uh, when you're getting ready to grow some things. 
So after your seeds are planted in the dirt, they will then sprout into a seedling. And a seedling of a pumpkin is gonna have two big leaves. And from there, it's going to turn into a vine. Now, if you guys haven't seen a pumpkin vine, they're pretty impressive. They can be 10, 12 foot long with all the pumpkins on them. So they do spread out a lot. And also on the pumpkin vines, there'll be these little tiny green trendles. And those trendles will attach onto different things to kind of help stabilize the vine. So from the vine, the next step of the pumpkin life cycle is the beautiful blossom. And Maggie told us we can actually eat pumpkin blossoms. I didn't know that. So the blossom is gonna be almost as big as my hand. They're big and they're beautiful. At the bottom of the blossom, step number five, you can see we've got a little tiny pumpkin starting to grow. And I'll show you my pumpkin here. I've already cut it in half actually, but um, at the bottom of the pumpkin is where it's attached to the blossom. And I actually have a little bit of a dried blossom on the end of this pumpkin. So sometimes you get lucky and you can uh, find pumpkins like that. So after our pumpkin has grown, of course, this is what it's gonna look like, a beautiful pumpkin. And uh, so that's the life cycle, and that will help you fill out the activity sheets that Satina is working on now. So while she's doing that, I told you earlier I'd already cut this pumpkin. I've cut this pumpkin in half, and the reason why I did this is because Maggie told me that we can eat raw pumpkin, Satina. Did you know that? No, I did not. So we're gonna try it today. And so I cut this in half and I started digging some of the seeds out. So we're gonna finish digging out a spot here so that we can try our yummy pumpkins. And you can see here, look up close there, guys. There's some seeds. That's what the pumpkin seed looks like. And you can actually eat the pumpkin seed and they're very yummy. Um, what I do at home is I dig the pumpkin seed out, I wash them off, I soak them in a little salt water and then I roast them in the oven and they are yummy, crunchy, delicious, um, very good for you. So um, that's a good way to utilize part of your pumpkin. So if you make jack-o'-lanterns, you can save those seeds and you can make roasted pumpkin seeds, which some of you may actually get to try today because I believe that's what we put in the packets to go to your teachers. So we've gotten quite a bit of our little insides out of our pumpkin here and all of our seeds, Oop, almost all of their seeds. Pumpkins are really healthy for you. They have like lots of vitamin A, vitamin C, potassium. They're really good in fiber and they're full of antioxidants which help keep your body nice and healthy. So. Not only are they cool and pretty and bright and cheerful and fun for Halloween and Thanksgiving, but they're also good for you. So we're going to go ahead and cut a chunk out of this. Satina's waiting. She's like, yeah, pumpkins. I'm going to cut out a little chunk of this pumpkin to try it. Normally, um, you would cook the pumpkin. Um, so these pie pumpkins are normally cooked down so that you can um, make your pies or soups or whatever you want to out of them. Uh, we're gonna put a little cinnamon sugar on our pieces of pumpkin. You can see Satina's like, yeah, let's try this. And just so you know, kids, before I started, I did wash my hands good because we wanna make sure we keep everything clean. Satina, you wanna grab your piece of pumpkin there and go ahead and try that. Yummy cinnamon sugar on there. And we'll tell everybody what it tastes like. Tastes like pumpkin. Tastes pretty good with lots of, mm, the cinnamon makes it really good. It's a little crunchier than I was thinking, but that's because it's not been cooked down. So maybe you get a chance to try some raw pumpkin this fall. Um, you'll find the pie pumpkins in the grocery store, more in the um, vegetable department. Um, not, the ones outside on the sidewalk, the great big ones, those are more for jack-o'-lanterns and decorations. These pie pumpkins are going to be small. They're going to have a little sticker on them like this. And do remember that pie, uh, pumpkins are a fruit. Remember yeah. that? Maggie said pumpkins are a fruit, not a vegetable, but they are in the gourd family. So good and healthy and delicious for you. So Tina, are you all done? You got my projects done. All right. Show us what you got. So here's my pumpkin that I made. So make sure you put your name on it too so you guys can take it home at the end of the day. Um, I made a jack-o'-lantern on it so it has it's smiling, has some teeth on it. And then... Here's the life cycle. Don't look too hard, but give you away the answers, but you can color it and make it kind of pretty too. 
And then here is the one for you guys, younger kids. There so, you just awesome. Make just make sure you put your names on those so you can get those home. And uh, if you have questions about pumpkins, have your teachers send me an email. We'd be happy to answer those questions for you. Maybe we can do that at the beginning of our next video if there's any um, questions people have. If you want to send me pictures of your pumpkins, I would love to see that. That would be really nice. So, uh, but hopefully you'll have fun doing the activity and hopefully you've learned something today, um, either through us or out of the pumpkin patch uh, when we were visiting with Maggie. Make sure that if you ate today, you thank a farmer. Maybe you ate some pumpkin today. Maybe you thank a pumpkin farmer. And God bless America. And we'll see you next time on Ag in the Classroom.